reinvention to me means letting go of everything you've done in the past and embracing uh, an entirely new way of doing things. I think in general, my whole life has been a story of some variants of reinvention. Growing up, I actually, for the longest time, thought I would be a professional chess player. So between the ages of five and 14, I traveled around the US and some parts of the world as well, just playing chess. For a long time, I really loved the game. And then at the age of 14, I decided I'd try something else. Funny enough, today, I, I would argue that our whole company is around helping other companies reinvent themselves too. The early days of any startup are hard. And I think for us especially, we knew we were walking into an industry that again, just didn't exist. And so we weren't sure really what a product even looked like tangibly. Second was, you know, is there a market for this, right? I think, you know, there was a lot of excitement broadly around AI and deep learning, but we hadn't really seen companies build commercial products yet. And the third, just fundamental piece was, you know, was I and, you know, the team we had, were we the right people to actually do this for the first time? I think in, in general, my big realization came actually fairly, fairly early on in the company, which was, I realized that there are a lot of people out there that are much better at me at many things. And I think that when you kind of internalize that, it becomes much easier to hire a team. In the early days, I was hiring a team to kind of, in many ways, build them some, somewhat in my image of a task that I've, I had kind of known up until then of how to do it. Today, it's quite the opposite. When I hire people, I believe that they're going to be much better at this role than me, and I let them have autonomy and ownership over it. To believe in ourselves enough, in, in spite of, you know, evidence mounted against you otherwise, was definitely the hardest part of, of our journey. I, I think for me personally, we, you know, and for the rest of the founding team, we turned down other more, I guess you call it secure jobs and more uh, traditional paths to do this, but we really believed in, in what we were building. I think those early feelings though of, of that type of fear and, 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 and worry are natural, and they're actually really, in, in some ways, helpful because it's not even necessarily about the net hours you work, it's more about the mindset of thinking, you know, we have to give this hour of work we do everything we have because we don't know if there's going to be another one, really.